Hey folks, it's Mad Rabbit. I'm in uh, World of Warcraft today. Just doing a very short, uh, quick guide on how to get the uh, very low drop rate uh, mount that drops in Stratholm. When actually we're looking for the um, the rear access uh, entrance because it's not going to be in the regular wing. It's going to be in the uh, access wing that you see a little bit to the east here, as you see in my footage. Um, just going east of the, the main uh, entrance. We'll show you this little area here where you get to the wing that we need to get into in order to get this mount. You can't get there through the other wing. Um, short look at the map, fairly simple. Got to take out the three uh, bosses there that I show you. You go there, you kill the boss, you go inside the, uh, the little tower thing uh, and wipe out the things that are inside the tower, usually like five trash. Uh, on a high level, you should have no problem just easily soloing this very easy to do um, with an area attack. I mean, I'm doing it with a rogue. You can do it really any class can probably do this. Even a, a healer class probably could do it. Um, yes, yeah, so you just go in here. You wipe out the the five dudes that are in here, and uh, you gotta do that for the three different wings that you'll see on your map. There is an optional boss which I'll show you also. Um, obviously, if you're doing stuff for the um, Dark Moon Fair, it's also probably a good spot to uh, farm for uh, different things also. I can't remember which boss it is, but I think there might be a drop in here for uh, one of the quest item turn-ins. Um, so that's other, another option. You can look up that on wowhead.com probably. Find out which, which boss it is. I don't remember off the top of my head. But... Um, not really great for um, gold, making gold though. I mean, I think probably the uh, Northrend ones are probably a little bit better for gold farming, but uh, you can still make some gold here and obviously you can get a lot of decent fabric if you're leveling a lower level tailor. Uh, yeah, here's the optional boss, the fourth boss. Um, obviously, you can just skip them if you don't want to do them, but hey, grab them anyway. Some of the stuff in here does disenchant some pretty nice stuff if you're an enchanter trying to look at looking to make some money um, obviously the drop rate on this thing is extremely low as you see here this is my main and um, I, I've been trying to get it for quite some time in fact in my old video series I did have a guide like this unfortunately I deleted that video um, you'll face another boss here basically in the area right in front of the last building taking out various things most of it very easy Taking out the uh, the abominations first. This guy here, then a bunch of trash comes in. Area attack this. Very easy. They don't really do much in the way of damage anyway. Um, obviously, if you don't have very good area attack, you may have a few issues here. But uh, eh, for the most part, most classes got something going on. There's a Boston question, and pretty much what he's riding there is the the amount you're going to be going for. So the good thing about this is it's um, this is not a heroic one. So you can exit out right after you kill him and redo this up to five times in an hour. So if this guide helped you guys out the farm for this mount, um, please hit the thumbs up on the way out if you could. And um, this is Matt Rabbit signing off. Thanks for watching, folks. Adios.